lucky audience members are going to have the chance to join their favorite authors on stage and compete as a team. I'm going to introduce each author and then ask a trivia question about them. If you know the answer, raise your hand. I'll call on the first hand I see, and if you answer correctly, you'll come on stage and join the fun. So if I call on you, come out to a mic so we can hear you, okay? First we have <laughs> Sarah Dessen. Sarah Dessen is <laughs> Sarah Dessen is the author of 12 previous novels, which include the New York Times bestsellers, Saint Anything, The Moon and More, What Happened to Goodbye, Along for the Ride, Lock and Key, Just Listen, The Truth About Forever, and This Lullaby. Her books, That Summer and Someone Like You, were made into the movie How to Deal. Dessen's books are frequently chosen for the teens' top 10 list and a list of best, best fiction for young adults. They have been translated into 25 languages. Sarah Dessen graduated from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill with highest honors in creative writing. <laughs> she lives in Chapel Hill with her husband Jay and their daughter Sasha Clementine. Here is the trivia question. What is the name of the fictional city that Sarah has set many of her novels in? Yes. Go on. <laughs> I'm really short. Colby? Yes, come on up. We might need to scoot down. I'm going yeah. to see the chair where they didn't, oh, didn't get in. Come on up. So she can get in. So she can actually get in. We have to let her actually be able to okay. get in. While you find your way to the stage, <laughs> Cami Garcia. <laughs> is a number one New York Times bestselling author and Bram Stoker Award nominee and the co-author of the Beautiful Creatures and Dangerous Creatures novels. Her solo series, The Legion, includes the instant New York Times bestseller, Unbreakable, and its sequel, Unmarked. She is also the author of the YA contemporary romance, The Lovely Reckless, and The X-Files Origins, Agent of Chaos. Who is Cammie's co-author on her Beautiful Creatures series? Over there. Um, I can't hear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on up. Victoria V. E. Schwab. <laughs> is the author of the New York Times best-selling Shades of Magic series, as well as a number of middle grade and YA novels, including This Savage Song. She has been called the heir to Diana Wynne Jones. Her dynamic work has caught the attention of major TV and film studios. Schwab has a master's degree in art history from the University of Edinburgh, she currently lives in Nashville, Tennessee, but frequents Edinburgh. And here is your trivia question. What is the name of Schwab's first YA novel? <laughs> hey, come on up! I heard this in your I know, I know. <laughs> You're like, I got it. <laughs> it's awesome. I thought it was the archives. No. Nicola Yoon. <laughs> is the number one New York is the author of the number one New York Times bestsellers, The Sun is Also a Star, and Everything Everything. Her debut everything <laughs> Her debut novel, which was turned into a major motion picture and is in theaters now. 
She grew up in Jamaica and Brooklyn and lives in Los Angeles with her family. Your trivia question is, what are the names of the two main characters who fall in love against all odds in The Sun is Also a Star? Yes. You are correct. <laughs> All right, I'm going to explain the rules of the game. The house rules are Jeopardy rules. Players call their category and value to start the round. For example, I'll take top of the charts for 400. Contestants must answer in the form of a question. You stay in control of the board until you lose. <laughs> Each clue will begin with a short audiobook clip. Then I'll read the question out loud. Everything is fine. <laughs> you can buzz in before the clue is finished, but you can't answer until after the clue has been read and I've called on you. The first to buzz in, indicated by the blinking light on that thing down there, gets a chance to answer. If they're incorrect, a second contestant to buzz in, indicated by a steady light, can guess. In terms of scorekeeping, you'll see a colored buzzer in front of you and a corresponding colored lay, yellow, green, blue, or pink, that matches the color of your team on the contestant's scoreboard at the bottom of the game board. After contestant scores correctly, I will assign you points by clicking your name on the scoreboard. There's no final Jeopardy round. The rest of the time will be used for an audience Q&A. So we're going to do a practice round with the buzzers before we start in on like the board. Grade school. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to introduce. So all right. I think the practice round is just this. Ready, set, go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that's Victoria with Nicola as our would as our second. Do you guys want to do it again? Yes. Yes. So we we tested these in the right. right? We just know they work. Right? What? We know they work, right? What? Do we know they work already? Do you think yours doesn't work? No, it's just like that. It works. All right. All right. Case. One more go. Go. <laughs> that would be Sarah with Nicola, who's really <laughs> killing it in second. Yeah. All right. Blinking is first. Blinking is first. Blinking is first. Blinking is first. So we totally won that. So yeah, you did. Blinking is first. Got it. I haven't. Could we have this talk together? All right. How are, here's your categories. Whose voice is it anyway? So you, in this case, you listen to the clip and you tell us, you name the author who's narrating, okay? Oh. Oh. Top of the charts, name the best-selling title based on the clue. Fantasy world, centers on dystopian and or fantasy universe. Ziz. What's my line? Identify this well-known line. <laughs> YA classics, centers around beloved YA titles and series. And spotted at BookCon. Centers around authors who you may see roaming the halls of the chapters. What are we talking about? Like lost animals. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Although BookCon's not a zoo, it's the wild. Because we're not caged here. <laughs> so we are going to start with Sarah Dawson. Because you are alphabetically. <laughs> there is a board, but I will read it. Okay. Okay. Are you going to press the beginning? I will press the beginning. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. okay. Whose voice is it anyway? From one to five hundred, top of the charts, fantasy worlds. What's my line? YA classics, and spotted at BookCon. 
the charts is like I've name the bestseller. Okay. okay, we'll take top top of the charts for three hundred. All right. Start by discarding, then organize your space thoroughly, completely, in one go. This nonfiction bestseller was written by Marie Kondo and encourages readers to declutter their lives by discarding any objects which do not spark joy. They've already gotten them. What is the life-changing magic of tidying up? Okay. <laughs> what? In the corner, click answer. In the corner, click, aha! Got it! Oh, just just click, oh, hit it if you I was going straight to points. What? Really? That was right. We did top of the if you're lucky. I mean, I'm not going to object. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do I do? Just keep going. Sorry, guys. You're going to have to make it up. <laughs> It would they should just click the wrong thing. Okay. That's good that I'm already falling behind. Okay. So Okay. Pick. You guys pick. Oh, we pick? Okay. Yeah. So what are we gonna do? Are we are we the same one? Is there a different one here? Let me let me look at the it's hard to see what we can. I think we should do let's see, do you wanna gamble or do like five hundred something? What are which category are we gonna do? Uh I that think either top of the charts or fantasy, or whose voice is it anyway, or fantasy. Okay, well. whose voice is it anyway is the one I'm least likely to get because I'm super. We're gonna do 500. Pick one of the other two. Um, so I probably won't know that one. Okay. Well, we will do top of the charts for 500. Oh, yeah. all, all right. Ready. Will made no sound as he climbed. Behind him, he heard the soft metallic slither of the Lordling's ringmail. Roy? <laughs> Roy Dotrice holds the Guinness World Record for the most characters voiced by a single actor while narrating this almost 700-page book in which he voiced 224 characters. Okay, that is Sarah. We say Lord of the Rings. Are we wrong? No, people are shaking their heads. I'm afraid not. Sorry. Okay, Cammy. Is it what is Harry Potter? No. It's Jim Dale. I knew that. Well, Lord of the Rings. Well, technically, all the books, all the Lord of the Rings combined are like a thousand pages, but each of them alone are like three hundred something. So we. Okay. What happens if we all lose? I have no idea. We. Can we ask the audience? Does anybody else want to go? Does anyone want to guess? Nicole. Well, guessing. Lucy's uh, guessing. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Wow. Wait, but who's saying really? really? You don't have to say it in a question. No, but my dad is in the sound. I know, but I know. <laughs> All right. You guys have the board. Oh. What category do you want? So, whose voice is it anyway? Top of the charts, fantasy worlds, what's my line, YA classics, and spotted at book con. Uh, what's my line 200? Okay. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. This beloved novel has sold over 20 million copies since its publication in 1813, and that's Victoria. What is Pride and Prejudice? <laughs> well, should be like Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. <laughs> okay. So that was for... How yeah, many that points? was for. Uh, two, was that 200? All right, so you guys okay, are now only. A, I only gave you 100 points. Yes. You, yeah, right. okay, now we're correct. legit. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay, which category do we want to do? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, give it to That's Green. That's right. Yeah. Got it. Okay, all right. You guys are very helpful. All right. Okay. <laughs> for how much? Okay. Yeah. And you guys have the board. Can we do top of the charts for 400? You sure can. And the hunches were never that startling, or even very frequent. It was not until the night of the county fair and the mask that anything very startling happened. 
James Franco, Maggie Siff, Tim Curry, Will Patton, Matthew Broderick, and Kathy Bates have all narrated works by this prolific American horror writer. And that is Sarah. Who is Stephen King? It's also different when you see the writing. And you control the board. We'll take YA classics for 500. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. We're going for it. Ashley's your wrist. Woo! Woo! But this freckled witch was very different, and although he found it rather difficult for his slower intelligence to keep up with her brisk mental processes, he thought that he kind of liked her chatter. Set in small town Atlantic Canada, the imaginative heroine of this novel once declared, Red hair is my lifelong sorrow. What is Anne of Green Gables? <laughs> it was uh, us, so I just. Okay. <laughs> I, thanks to that book, I thanks to that book, I graduated eighth grade. <laughs> well, right, and, and now that and Little Women and Watership Down and A Christmas Carol. Now you control the board. And you spotted at BookCon for 100. I don't really know what this means, so I'm just. It's gonna authors who have been roaming around BookCon. Maybe it will be me. Here we go. <laughs> this is the last time I'll be doing this. Coming back to Watford in autumn. I'll still come back, but not like this. Not like I'm coming home. This fangirl author's latest YA novel, Carry On, do, is set at the Magical School of Watford and features Simon, Baz, and the world of mages, and that goes to Victoria. Who is Rainbow, Rainbow Rowell. Rowell. You're a much faster hitter. <laughs> and now you control the board. Um, can we do top of the line for 200? Top of the charts. Oh, top of the charts, sorry. Top of the charts for? 200. 200. 200. I wanted the sound of a door slamming as the downbeat. And in my computer music program, I grabbed a sound file called Door Wood Squeak. The sound of the wood squeak was so compelling, I set it to notes. This audiobook, read by Mariska Hagerte, and another familiar voice heard here, is the behind the scenes story of 2016's biggest Broadway hit about this American founding father. Okay, Nicola? What is Hamilton? No. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is Hamilton. <laughs> I thought it was Lynn Manuel Miranda, yeah. And now you control the board. Okay, what do you want to do? Oh, I know. It's okay. Classics are spotted at. I guess spotted at. Spotted at Bacon for 200? And tomorrow, at the choosing ceremony, I will decide on a faction. I will decide the rest of my life. This author's dystopian trilogy divides a post-apocalyptic Chicago into five factions. Dauntless, Amity, Erudite, Abnegation, and Candor, and has spawned a movie franchise. Cammy. Do we say the book or the author? The um, Who is Veronica Roth? Okay, and you all control the board now. I don't do the video clip one. I, what video clip? The one where I have to listen. The audio clip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really bad at that. Well, how about Fantasy World? You're yeah. like a fantasy world. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do Fantasy World for 400. Yeah, let's do Fantasy don't hit it. All right. <laughs> we slept in what had once been the gymnasium. The floor was of varnished wood with stripes and circles painted on it for the games that were formerly played there. 
This recently adapted for TV tale is set in the Republic of Gilead, a Bible-inspired military dictatorship where women are not allowed to work or own property, among other things. Okay, Sarah. What is The Handmaid's Tale? Yeah, I want to go down the stand down there and then just sing to you. Oh, we get to sign. The board is yours. Okay, this is where I come in. We're gonna do whose voice is it anyway? Two hundred. All right. We're going for it. For two hundred. Thanks for buying my book. That money is mine. Yes. And I think you'll enjoy it. No, yeah. we're blinking. No, we're blinking. Oh, blinking? We're blinking. We were blinking. Yeah. We were totally blinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were blinking. We were blinking, Good. but we were second. Who is Aziz Ansari? Yep, there he is. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, same category for 500. Can we do the same category for 500? Yes. It was the beginning of the 80s when Mick started to become unbearable. This rock legend is said to be Johnny Depp's inspiration for his Pirates of the Caribbean Captain Jack Sparrow character. That's probably why Depp narrated a portion of this lead guitarist's audiobook, Life. Who is Keith Richardson? You don't know. Oh. It's no. our turn. Right? It's our turn. You yeah. go, Candy. No. Richards. <laughs> I don't know. I said that to you. I know. I'm sorry. Like, Why did she add this on from? And you control the board. <laughs> okay. Okay. We can take it back. We can take it back. <laughs> Let's do fantasy worlds for five hundred. All right. The more he ate, the more he wanted to eat. And he never asked himself why the queen should be so inquisitive. What is Turkish delight? <laughs> she has to wait until she reads it. Yeah, you gotta wait until she reads it. She's good eyes. She can read it from over here. Yes, in the Chronicles of Narnia, the White Witch convinces Naughty Edmund to betray his family when she offers him this sweet treat. What is Turkish Delight? <laughs> the question should be, what is Turkish Delight? That's hard. <laughs> okay, and you guys control the board. Again! <laughs> Fantasy. Fantasy Worlds 300. Okay. We, are we, sorry, I can't see the, we're all off? Okay. okay. All right. A cart came in through Bywater from the direction of Brandywine Bridge in broad daylight. An old man was driving it all alone. You answered this. Victoria. You got it. You're going to ask you, a question. Are you going to read the... Oh, sorry. The small <laughs> agricultural <laughs> region is home to the majority of the hobbits in Middle Earth. What is the Shire? Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, it's hard, right? You start thinking, what if I'm wrong? Yeah. Can you... All right, I'm going to... We're going to do one more and then have a little break where I'm okay. going to ask you guys all a question. Okay. Okay, but before that, you control the board. Can you tell us what the scores are? The scores are currently. I can't see anything. Who's winning? <laughs> Cammy. <laughs> by she's got nineteen hundred points. Oh oh. Second place oh, is Victoria <laughs> for nine hundred, oh. of which we. So yes, so yeah, that's where yeah, we are. It's, oh, it stays. Okay. okay. Oh no! Don't. Don't do that. <laughs> well, who's Everyone's the then Sarah with 800. Then Nicola with 700. Oh, very close. Nice. Okay. Let's do. Yeah, you're all second. Anyway. Yeah. But we have one more. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you guys some questions. A question. All right. What's left on whose line is it anyway? We can't see. Uh, what's my line? What's my line? Yeah. Whatever. 100, 300, 400, and 500. Let's do 400. 400. All right. Here we go. I took a deep breath and listened to the old brag of my heart. I am, I am, I am. <laughs> this semi-autobiographical novel was originally published under the pseudonym Victoria Lucas in 1963. Okay, that is Victoria. What is the bell jar? 
You can't pee. We're in the middle. All right, so we're, that is officially the end of round one. And so I have one question um, for all of you, which is, who is the coolest person they've met so far at BookCon? Also, it would be great if you could tell us about the book you're here to promote, if you're here to promote a book. <laughs> Let's start on the other end. Nickel. Uh, do you want to start, Lucy? Who's the coolest person? I, I Besides feel like I feel me. Okay. Because <laughs> clearly I am the coolest, even though we are losing. Uh, <laughs> then VE. Met her last night. Oh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, the coolest person I've met is Steve Chabowski, who wrote The Perks of Being a Wallflower, which is one of my favorite books, and he was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> he was like gracious and super smart and sweet and took a picture with me while I fangirled him. So that was awesome. <laughs> I'm not sucking up in any way, but I'm going to say Holly and senior elf ears. That was the <laughs> um, Probably a fan who came all the way from Sri Lanka named Mishma. So, yeah. Um, are we supposed to be saying books? That, Nick, weren't you supposed to like oh. say what book you're here for? Back it up. I don't know. I don't. What you am don't I promoting? I'm promoting everything. 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 <laughs> so it's also a star. I don't know. <laughs> um, the movie. I don't. Know. You guys. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's a long day. I've seen it. <laughs> it's really good. Tell them what it's about. Um, so everything. Everything is about a 17-year-old girl who's been stuck in her house for her whole life because she's sick. Um, and then one day a super cute boy moves next door and changes her life because that's what super cute boys do. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here for Conjuring of Light and the Savage Law, thank you. Um, the third book in the Shades of Magic trilogy and the first half of the Monsters of Verity duology. And the second book comes out in eight days, so you should Yay. go buy it. <laughs> thing I've seen. It. Oh, hi, everyone. I just realized Cammy doesn't know my name yet. My name is Brinkley. And <laughs> thank you. And oh my god, I met so many cool people at BookCon. But I think the coolest of the cool has to be Adele Griffin. Because she's so nice. She is so nice. I got her signing. We were there early. We didn't know when she was going to start signing yet. And so she just talked to me and my friend for a good 10 minutes Super nice. before the signing, but a close second to Renee Audier, who provided drinks at our booth signing for Flame in the Mist. <laughs> drinks. Um, I, I mean, I haven't met anyone yet that I didn't know, so I'm not going to say who's the coolest, because then it's like picking from your friends. It's not okay. But I'm hoping to meet, I want to see Bill Nye, the science guy, Bill really Nye badly. Because if I see him, he will be the coolest person that I meet. So that's like my ultimate plan. Um, I'm here to promote my book, The Lovely Reckless. It's my first contemporary YA. It just came out in paperback. And it's basically, um, it's set in Washington, D.C., where I'm from. And it's about a girl whose boyfriend gets killed. And she kind of goes into a downward spiral. She gets kicked out of her fancy private school. And she has to go to public school with people that are really different from her for the first time. And she falls for a street racer, which is, you know, really fun. <laughs> hey guys, so I'd actually, not trying to kiss up or anything, but the coolest person I met here is Sarah, since Hello. she's been one of my favorite authors since I was in high school, so it's really cool being up here. <laughs> um, gosh, I have two. I don't know if, it, I, I can never just give one answer to anything. Um, so I met Chelsea Clinton on Friday night, oh, wow. not at BookCon, but at an um, event that my publisher, and I had actually met her a couple of years ago, and I was starstruck and then I was starstruck again this time and had to go to the bathroom to like compose myself afterwards. <laughs> so that was sort of embarrassing. And then last night I met Daniel Handler, which was Lemony uh, Snicket, awesome. which was incredible. And again, was so like verklempt with excitement that I just like stood there like a moron. So I really need to work on like how I talk to people when I meet people that I really admire because I'm not very good at it. 
Um, anyway, I'm Sarah. I'm here promoting my book, Once and for All, which is out on Tuesday. And thank you. And uh, it's the story of a girl who, uh, her mom is, runs a wedding planning business. And so her whole life has been about weddings and romance and sort of getting people through the best day of their lives. I use those in quotes. Um, but she herself is very cynical about love because she, her first love ended in a really tragic way. So it's about weddings and it's about chaos and summer and everything. And I'm really looking forward to talking about it. And you can tell I haven't talked about it much because that was a really bad summary. So <laughs> check with me in six months and I'll have like a, one sentence together. All right, are you guys ready for round two? We're ready. Yeah! All right. I'm not on this panel. You get talking time. Like, if it's like Jeopardy, that's Alex Trebek. Get like talking time. He's like, hi, I'm Alex Trebek. Blah blah blah. I'm not sure if that was a vote for or against. Holly, right, what's the you, Cruel I'll Prince tell you about? So I'm here to promote a book called The Cruel Prince, which is a fairy. It's my first. It's the first in a trilogy, and it's the first book I've written set entirely in fairy. Um, really good. And I was super excited to meet Nick Stone, who I talked to online but never met in person, and her uh, lipstick game is just as good as yes, it seemed like it was yes. going to be. I met her too. <laughs> She's good hair, also. Uh -huh. All right. All right. Let's go. We're on charge. All right. Okay. Last person to answer was Victoria. Was Victoria. Um, so you control the board. Voices, anyway. Yeah. But who said it? Is it who um, said we'll it? We'll do f whose voice is it anyway voice. for yeah, 400? No. For 100? Four. Four. 400. 400. All right, here. From the time go. I was in utero, it was my fate to be in front of the camera. This Glee star wrote and narrated her memoir titled Sorry, Not Sorry. You might know her better as Santana. And, and that is. Who is Naya Rivera? Cammy. <laughs> I, I stopped a, after season five. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the book, but I couldn't remember which one of them. I have a musical theater obsessed sister, so. All right, you guys control the board. Oh, fun. Uh, okay. Who's going to win anyway? So 100 and 300. Top of the charts, 100. <laughs> okay. Fantasy World, 100, 200. What's my line, 100, 300, 500? 300, 100 in the middle. That is who, what's my line? Is that the one you mean? Or whose voice is it anyway? Has a no. 300? <laughs> They all have 300. Why classics are spotted a book on? Uh, why classics for 300? All right, here we go. Zeus did indeed feed Kronos a mixture of mustard and wine, which made him disgorge his other five children. Fond of Greek mythology, this alliterative author is responsible for several best-selling series, including Percy Jackson and the Olympians, Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, and The Trials of Apollo. Nicola. I'm going to mispronounce his last name, but who is Rick Riordan? Riordan. It's Riordan. Riordan. Okay. Yay! All right, you control the board. I got pretty much every category still. Okay, YA classics for 400. Here we go. Mrs. What's it? Charles Wallace demanded severely. Why did you take Mrs. Buncombe's sheets? Well, I needed them, Charles, dear. Mrs. What's it? Mrs. Mrs. Who and Ms. Mrs. Witch are supernatural beings who transport 13-year-old Meg Murray through the universe in this classic Newbery Medal winner, first published in 1963. I see that Cami has it. Who? We both wait. Don't. What is a wrinkle in time? Oh my God. Right. I knew it. I was just telling people I can't get my son to read. But they have a really good graphic novel, like this is it. All right. What do you pick? Okay, hold on. What is it? There's, there, is there still any classics? Or what I there are. 100? There's 100 and 200. Um, let's do book. Who spotted a book on? You um, have 300, have 400, and 500. 300. Or 300. whatever. How many? Three, four, or five hundred. Um, do five. Spotted book on 500. Let's do that. Okay. The prince straightened, forcing her gaze to follow him. 
You're not quite what I was expecting. This author reimagines fairy tales, including Cinderella, Little Red Riding Hood, and others in her best-selling YA series, narrated by Rebecca Solder in audio. That goes to Victoria. Who is Marissa, Marissa Meyer. Meyer. All right, and you have the board. Let's do Spotted at BookCon for 400. Okay, Spotted at BookCon for 400. The servants called them Malenchki, yes. little ghosts, because they were the smallest and the youngest, and because they haunted the Duke's house like giggling phantoms. Best known for her Grisha trilogy, this author was born in Jerusalem and grew up in Los Angeles. Who is I'm the silver-haired vixen, Lee Bardugo? <laughs> Closing in. All right, what would you like now? We'll do Spotted at BookCon for 300. All right. Okay, here we go. In this story, not only is there no happy ending, <laughs> there is no happy beginning, and very few happy things in the middle. You may know him as Lemony Snicket, but this name, his given name, is much less unfortunate. Who do we have? Ah. Who is Daniel Handler? Who I met last night. That's right. I know. No, I, no points! <laughs> the trick is to have me just to hit it. No <laughs> points for meeting him, unfortunately. I figured out later. Okay. What, what will you have next? We'll do whatever the category is. This is to move you into the lead. What's the 500 yeah, one? Yeah, the 500 one? That is what's my line. Okay. Sure. Let's sure. Sure. <laughs> I'm not as good at these, though. Wait, what are you taking? <laughs> What's my line for 500? You want it for 500? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I thought you were browsing still. No, no, no. <laughs> In the moment when I truly understand my enemy, understand him well enough to defeat him, then in that very moment, I also love him. This sci-fi novel turned movie has spawned a universe of sequels, prequels, and related stories. Cammy. I didn't see the prequel part. I'm not sure now. Oh, you have to answer. You have to answer. When? We were next. I think it passes now. I think I know it. Now. Okay. Because I didn't read the prequel part. We'll just start it. Okay, oh. should we go? Yeah, you get well, to go. Who's next? We, we were next. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. Should we go? There's no prequel. Can we if answer? You, you can always press it to get okay. to the well, second. Okay, well, we did. Okay, all right. <laughs> Victoria, yes, yeah, sorry. What is Star Wars? I am afraid not. That's not a book. Oh. Well, it, Nicola? Those Nicola. are clients. That was our answer to that. All right. Give us a prequel. Lord of the Rings? No. no. I'm afraid. afraid. No. Not. What is? We have no idea. What is Ender's Game? Uh, no. No. What? Oh. How did they get it again? Can they get it again? There are prequels. I mean, this is not. I have no idea there are prequels. What is a prequel? What's the prequel for Ender's Game? Yeah. Exactly. I haven't even read it. Fred, I've read I, it, but I didn't I, I know there is a prequel, but I have not read it. I confess <laughs> it in this moment. I have not read it. <laughs> okay. That, okay. That threw me. That was a tough one. I didn't even know they had prequels. It wasn't 500 points for nothing. Yeah, Wait, they don't get points. All right. <laughs> I know we must all make peace with what has happened. <laughs> <laughs> what will you choose next? Okay. What's 300 that's not the listening one? <laughs> What's my people. line? Which one? What's, What's my, my line? line? Famous YA lines. Or the whose voice? Yeah. Whose voice? Yeah. Those are your two oh. high scoring. Oh. What do you think? Things. Um, we're gonna go with whose voice is it anyway? Yeah, because I'm right. I'm gonna be. This is gonna require reading either way. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm not one of those fancy Harvard heart surgeons. I'm just an unlicensed plumber with a dream, and I'd like to cut your chest open. In her best-selling memoir, this actress and comedian writes about her youthful days before Liz Lemon, before Weekend Update, and before becoming Sarah Palin. And it looks like it is Victoria. Who is Tina Fey? I'll 
And you have back, you have control of the board back. What do you want? Uh, we'll do whatever category the 300 is. Yeah. What's my line? That's what's my line. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Stay gold, pony boy. <laughs> gold. That's sad for us. This classic coming of age novel is celebrating Ooh, its 50th anniversary, Victoria. What is, is the, the Outsiders? outsiders? What would you like next? <laughs> We're gonna do. Um, you pick. Uh, what is the third category? Fantasy worlds. Oh no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we'll do YA classics for two hundred. All right. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. <laughs> Hannah Baker here, live and in stereo. I think our buzzer's broken. Um. Wait. Wait. Kiss me. This popular YA novel was recently given Netflix treatment by executive producer oh, Selena Gomez. Season two, please. And it looks Nicola. Oh, um, what is 13 Reasons Why? <laughs> All right, you want to try your buzzer for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I think ours is, I think ours is effective. <laughs> no, it's working. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, yes, it works. Yeah. Everybody good? Yep. We're closing We're in on slow. the end. All right. Um, fantasy World for 200? Here we go. Her demon's name was Pantalaimon, and he was currently in the form of a moth, a dark brown one so as not to show up in the darkness of the hall. possible. In this young adult fantasy novel set in a parallel universe, Lyra and her demon journey to the Arctic in search of her missing friend. And that is uh, Nicola again. Um, his dark materials, Philip Pullman, am I saying the right thing? Or uh, what keep, is? I got it. Keep going in that vein. Yeah. Oh, What's Golden Compass, what is Golden Compass? <laughs> Okay, what do you want next? I don't know, who do you want? YA Classics 100? Uh, sure. YA Classics 100? It is very curious indeed no. that you should be destined for this one when its brother, why its brother gave you that scar. <laughs> Jim Dale narrated this beloved magical series, Akio Audiobook. That's the one I guessed last time I was wrong. <laughs> okay, oh. and you guys control the board. Let's do fantasy world. Yeah, do fantasy. This is the capital's way of reminding us how totally we are at their mercy. <laughs> Telling you our thing is broken. Jennifer Lawrence starred in this film and all of its sequels based on a trilogy about a dystopian land which was once North America, and that goes to Victoria. What is, what is the, the Hunger, Hunger Games? Games? Also the title. Okay. Okay, what do you want? You pick, Holly. <laughs> we'll do. Fine. We'll... Top of the charts for 100. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. If I sit in carriage D, which I usually do, and the train stops at this signal, which it almost always does, I have a perfect view into my favorite trackside house. Emily Blunt played the lead role in last year's film adaptation of this best-selling Paula Hawkins thriller, which won the audiobook of the year in 2016. Wow. Nicola. Uh, what is the girl on the train? Yeah. Okay. Oh. You have control of the board. Two last categories. Whose voice is it anyway for 100? And what's my line for 100? What's my line for 100? Here we go. Second to last. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. 
The famous opening lines from this Charles Dickens novel are often <laughs> quoted, and that is Victoria. What is the tale of two cities? Yeah. And finally. And finally. And finally, the deciding yes. vote. Who tied? What? Who tied? Oh. <laughs> well. Tommy and Victoria are evenly matched. Okay. Well, our Shit. buzzer doesn't work, I'm telling you. No, uh, no, no, no it, it, works. Works. it works. It works. Or we're slow. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Every day brings a chance <laughs> for you to draw in a breath, kick off your shoes, and step out and, and dance. You wait, get an audiobook, and you get an audiobook. Wait, can you this no, talk show queen narrated what I know for sure her collection of inspiring words of wisdom. And the final answer goes to Nicola. Who is Oprah Winfrey? Hey! Oh, no, no, no. That's okay, though. That one I recognize the Now, since I did can fuzzle your scores by about 100 points, that's not entirely true. But let's go with it. 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 Uh, All right, so we got some prizes. No, they gave them, the, they gave them 200 of them back instead of three. Yes. <laughs> I bet we do. It's you can okay. keep the list. So, for each of our audience volunteers, you get a prize pack of cool audio stuff. 